Hi hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel where science is all about trying to learn various concepts of the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding employees project education and try to learn from it. I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in, in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called project with three different columns, project ID, employee ID and workload. Employee ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Employee ID is also a foreign key that is a reference column to the employee table. Each row of this table indicates that the employee with employee ID is working on the project with project ID and the workload of the project. Okay. We are also given a second table called employees with three different columns again, employee ID, name and team. Employee ID being the primary key of this table as well. Each row of this table contains information about one employee. Okay. We are asked to write a solution to find the employees who are allocated to projects with a workload that exceeds the average workload of all employees for their respective teams. Okay. Return the result table ordered by employee ID and project ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. So here you have four different rows for project table and four different employees. We need to re basically return those employees whose workload is higher than the average workload of the team they belong to. For example, if we look at employee ID 1, employee ID 1 is basically Khaled who belongs to team A. So team A has two people Khaled and Doe, employee ID 1 and 4. Employee ID 1 and 4, if you do, what is the average workload of team A? 45 plus 68 divided by 2, which comes out to be 56 and a half. So is 45 greater than 56 and a half? No. So obviously employee ID 1 should not be in the output, but 68 is more than 56 and a half. So basically employee ID 4 has a workload that is greater than the average workload of the team the employee id4 that is team a belongs to so employee id4 should be in the output so if you look at in the output employee id4 project they are allotted to what is their name and the project workload that is 68 right so we need to solve this question in this manner so what we need is since we need columns from both of these tables so basically what we need to do is we need to perform a join now what kind of join you want to do you can either go with inner join or a left join basically what we are trying to do is we need the name and the team part because we need the name in the output and we need the team to basically calculate the average of a particular team so what we can do is let's start with from this table called project aliased as p let us left join the employees table aliased as e using the common column is employee id so using employee id and let's keep only the required column so select project id employee id and workload is important to us so select p dot star and then from e we are only concerned about the name and the team part so let's keep e dot name let's keep e dot team okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if i just go down scroll down let me just drag it to the left so that is easier for us to visualize okay so now what we have is we have the project id employee id and workload coming from the project table and the name and teams are added now we also need to calculate for every team what is the average workload so here comes the use of window functions what we can do is we can partition by the team because team a becomes one partition team b becomes two second partition and then you calculate the average of the workload column so what we are basically doing is average of the workload column workload column belongs to the project table so p dot workload and then since we are writing a window function we need to write the over clause and then we need for every team's average workload so partition by let me bring it down partition by team teams come from the employee table so e dot team and let us alias this as average load or average workload whatever suits you right let me just go let me just bring it down and let me go ahead and run this okay so if we look at it we have the project ids employee id workload name team and now the average workload so just like we calculated for team a the average workload is 56 and a half okay now once we have all the required columns that we need we can you know store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses then what we need in our output is we need to keep only those people whose workload is greater than the average workload of the team they belong to so from this common table expression keep only those rows where workload is greater than the average load and then 
we need the certain columns in certain order so firstly what we need is we need the employee id so let's return the employee id then we need the project id then we need the name who has a new alias called employee name so name as employee name and then we also need the workload which has an alias of project workload so workload as and then let's alias this as project workload okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so this says wrong answer because it's not complete yet so if we look at it and let's try to match it with our expected output so you have ali and do you have do and ali obviously the only thing that is remaining in our solution is we need to order this by employee id and the project id in ascending order so what we can do is we can simply write order by employee id and then by project id as well okay let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get so yeah this is accepted now our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this past all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so yeah tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly we had to you know get the average workload of each of the teams then once we had the average workload what we did was we only kept those rows where workload was greater than the average workload and then kept the columns in the order that they want as well as the alias that they wanted and then finally ordered by employee id and project id in ascending order so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video